Hello everyone, welcome to another Vexus Violet video. This is going to be the prompt we're going to do. So this is what the first prompt will be. It's meant to be kind of like a, an old house, kind of, I don't know how to explain it. This is supposed to be a like, retired adventurer or somebody who lives up here. See this guy? He's got a bunch of like old armor and there's a chanted trident. And some other stuff. Like a bunch of boxes of random old things he just has collected from all his adventures. And I built the, the building mainly out of copper because I wanted to take advantage of some of the new blocks that were just added. The grates and the trapdoors and stuff. Over here we've got... Uh, that's that's missing a block for some reason. Couldn't tell you why, but it is. <laughs> These are supposed to be little barrels of like fish and stuff. That's supposed to be like a, a coat and boots on a, a rack. These are some like fishing equipment that's supposed to be like a net, some fishing rod, there's some buckets, more nets. Up here this is like a, a fish cutting up station, so like, where you like prepare fish if you catch them. Some more boxes, more boxes, and this is like the, the fishing perch with a bunch of barriers, so I was originally gonna have the, the villager free roaming down here, so I put the, the barriers in and didn't Get rid of them. So, I've also got some of these in here. These things, the the copper bulbs, were just added as well. So it, it looks kind of interesting. I feel like that it was just like a a nice touch to it. There's also a cow and cow in a little pen here, because that was in the prompt was a bucket of milk. I felt that fit. I was also TNT in the prompt, and I didn't want to put actual TNT. Here, so I made this. It's supposed to be just a random hut with TNT. Because this guy's a character, I guess. And I'll give you kind of a, a fly around here. Because I did a little bit of like work on the train and the, the, the blocks here. There's a bunch of flyers around. And here we have the second prompt, which is going to be these items. And here we are. Uh, I went a little overboard with this, as you can see. I've sort of been losing interest in this project for a while since I've been nearing completion for such a while. So I figured I would just do a huge chunk right now. I guess I'll start with this part. This is just like a little beach area. I put some nice colors on and stuff. I added another lightning rod because I like to have those all over the place. Uh, there's a shipwreck that was already here which I changed some things about. I added some wool to make it look like there were some downed sails or something. So maybe this shipwreck isn't as old as other shipwrecks that you would see in the Minecraft world. I also put some hay bales around because maybe it was carrying some hay bales. And there's also these like paths in here. This one's made of bamboo. It's got like a, a nice little dock thing which a turtle has decided to use and I've found a dog in this area while building, so I named it and put it in here. Uh, this uh, bamboo path actually goes back up to this area, and two other little biome things I made. And uh, there's this area, which is a lot of, like, you know, nice autumn colors, because it's autumn right now, and I thought that would be nice. I especially like the yellow trees. I think that turned out really well. Also, the copper grates is leaves. You might not think of it, but they actually look pretty good. And that's uh, this whole biome, which is not anything beyond the, like, ground and trees, but I still think it looks nice. I figured I didn't have to build buildings everywhere. Also, this cherry forest thing, which is just a continuation of what I had done over here. There was already a little bit here. So I just continued it all around this area, because I wasn't sure where, what else I was going to do with this empty space. And... Now that it's, it's going around all of this area, there's a bunch of cherry trees over this area as well. On this side of the mountain, I was originally going to put some more buildings here, but I decided against it. So now when you walk down this road, you've got cherry trees above you, and it's a really nice, interesting ambience. This area too, I didn't originally have- I wasn't originally going to put trees here, but I ended up doing it anyways, and I think it looks nice. It's like a nice composition with the trees framing the portal and stuff. 
Beyond all of that, though, the bamboo path continues on this way with another wolf that I tamed. One of the new variants, actually. So that's nice. Um, I did these little, like, candle sconces under the bridge, which are probably a horrible fire hazard in real life, but I think they look nice, so I, I had them in here. And uh, this bridge just continues back this way through the woods and stuff, and it continues a little ways up into this area, which, you know, the path goes down into another little, like, uh, dock area here, which, by the way, this is a new thing I tried, using the hanging signs as part of, like, a support for, a uh, uh, this thing. Wooden board suspended from fences. I thought it looked cool, so that, that was a new thing I tried. There's also this thing. This is more of an experiment. I'm not sure how well it turned out. It was just meant to be a little glass area with some glass trees and stuff like that. I figured that would be interesting. And the... Bamboo Pass continues on through areas I haven't built in much yet. Though I did put a uh, another lightning tower here because I don't like having areas vulnerable to lightning strikes. Even if I do have fire tick off, it it can be annoying to randomly have something set on fire. And I built out the bamboo path around through this area as well. So whenever I eventually do build in this area, it'll already have the path done. There's another path going through the forest here as well. And that's this diamond path that I had built here already. I just continued it on this way. And I actually added some light blocks to it. Because I figured it'd be cool to have it like glowing in the dark like this. It makes a nice little effect. And it continues on here through the woods. And it goes to like a, I don't know what you say, intersection? Or where the two forests meet. I think it's really kind of an interesting thing I did here. And the path ends up over here, where we have this nice little, like, lake thing, which I used the fill biome command to get lighter, nicer looking water. And it's got, like, these cool colors and designs I did with the sand around it, which was, I thought was nice. And some custom trees. They're basically just spruce trees, but with birch wood put in them, because I figured that would look kind of interesting. And there's a bunch of, like, lily pads and stuff around, and some... Uh, seagrass and stuff. And I, I mostly just made this thing because I, I know I want to do a video after I finish this project where I go through all my builds with shaders on. I figured this would look pretty nice to see like the water and stuff under the trees. And it connects up to a uh, part of the bamboo road which goes back into this area which I built before. And the final thing I built for this prompt was this little like packed earth, or packed mud island thing. I just took an existing island and changed the colors and stuff. And I turned the trees into these things, which I think are kind of neat, because I did a new thing where you, like, put a fence everywhere there's a, a log circle area showing. I feel like that look actually turned out very well. It looks kind of nice. Aside from that, this island doesn't have anything on it other than rabbits, which maybe I didn't fit that in so well. It was part of the prompt. But I feel like it kind of fits. Uh, they're obviously having some overpopulation here. Oh, I also did these nice gradients on the cliffs. I figure that looks cool. I think it looks cool anyways. There's also a bridge. Just a simple bridge. Just made of oak wood and birch wood. Not much other than that. And then this island is a bit smaller. And it's got this on it. Which I think is pretty cool. Because it took me multiple days to make, so... There you go. This is supposed to be an illusioner's tower. Or like a stereotypical evil blue wizard. I did these fun little like banners that represent this thing and I put them around the place. And it's, it looks about the same on all the sides, though I did this thing of course in the middle. Which is meant to look like there was an illusion over the tower because an illusionist lives in it. And it was making it look nicer and less evil than it actually was. And I made it asymmetrical, because it looks cool. And it's kind of an interesting contrast to the very symmetrical building underneath. At the top of it, it's meant to look a bit more, you know, worn out. Like, the, the banners are, like, covered in dust. And the magical ball up here has got some, like, streaks of grey going through it. Like, maybe it's been corrupted, or its power's been used up somehow. 
And there's an interior to this build, which... There's also these, like, glass windows I, hear, I did here. It's kind of an interesting design in them that was meant to mimic the, uh, the like, shape of the illusion thing wearing off up top. It was meant to be that same kind of shape, and I figured that would be interesting looking. Uh, down here, I put a pattern in the floor that's meant to look kind of like a, a spiral for the breeze spiral thing that the tuff has, because this is mostly made out of tuff at the bottom. And I've got the banners in- oh, that's not good. There's- I got the banners down here as well, as well as some armor- uh, our suits of armor with the new armor trim that was just added. The Guster or something is what it's called. And we've got a staircase that just goes up this way. It's not a very important staircase. Or, sorry, not a very cool looking staircase, because I wasn't entirely sure what else to do. This area also probably not as good as it could have been. So I wasn't sure what else to do here. Other than this is just a staircase wall with the walls and lanterns and stuff. And you can see some like illusion stuff here wearing off. And it gets darker here. And you know, there's some like lanterns that are missing. And it's, you know, darker and more evil looking because the illusion's worn off. There's some carpet and stuff, and this goes up into the illusionist's study, and here is the illusionist, which I've named Evil Blue Wizard, because I wasn't sure what else to name him. I just, I didn't go too hard on this, because there's not that much room in here, and I wasn't sure what else to do with it, so I did like this big, um, like, a bunch of, I keep forgetting what these are called. <laughs> It's a it's a bookshelf with shelves, yes. Um, it's got like a crystal and there's some candles around the place. There's this big painting on like a I don't know, something that a painting would be on. A big wooden banister or something. Which this guy is currently studying very closely. This painting was in the prompt, so I figured I had to put it in. And there's also a, a nice little bed, which you can see in there I did kind of an interesting uh like wood thing holding it up. Beyond that, I didn't do that much else, though this does glow at dark, glow in the dark, and it does look kind of cool. This is what it looks like at night time. Uh, the glow isn't very noticeable on the ball, but it is there. But anyways, this video is getting a bit too long, so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.